This influencer doctor has truly crossed the line, involving dogs and several other animals in her questionable videos. And if you thought it couldn't get worse than the last nurse we covered, well, it just did. Guys, welcome back to the Jerry and Curtis show. Oh my days, this TikTok creep business is a never-ending ocean of death. I feel like I can't escape it half the time. I'm drowning. <laughs> Now the influencer we're going to talk about today goes by the name of Jasmine and she claims to be a very helpful nurse apparently. Which if you saw my last video, I'm sure you know how that went. Yeah, the last nurse we covered, she also loved helping her patients, but she just worked in the genitalial department. <laughs> so who's this new nurse then? Now this nurse does have an OnlyFans, which I signed up for about nine months. Uh, well, I signed up so I, because I, I was planning this video. I've been making this video for nine months, you see. But we are going to take a little look at that in a bit. And she also posts these really, really questionable TikToks that almost gave me a stroke. Let's just indulge ourselves by taking a look at her YouTube banner real quick. So the name of the channel is How To Smart, and her profile picture is her holding a million subscriber plaque. I just love her already. She's so humble. And then her YouTube banner, how do you smart? Her holding a dog with another dog, and then apparently <laughs> one girl, many puppies. Now that might not sound too bad, right? Well, I'm about to ruin it for you. You know that very popular image which eventually led to her being completely split in half? <laughs> We'll just replace it with dogs, because that's what this channel does. She does these edits of herself, spicy edits, except instead of her seducing her patients, she seduces dogs instead. So let me get this straight, she's a nurse, but she's put her own spin on it. She's doing it. Doggy style. <laughs> But let's have a look at one of the teaser thumbnails that she posted. Wet versus dry white scrubs tops try on. Okay, so she's gonna be wearing wet clothes. That's juicy enough, surely people are gonna click on that. No, she had to go an extra step further. And uh, oh look at that. <laughs> There's a dog practically mounting her. And she's got her boobs out and her tongue sticking out. Aww, how, how cute. <laughs> I'm Jasmine, your friendly medical assistant from the sunny shores of Miami. I've got a soft spot for all things furry. And I'm here to brighten your day with adorable and funny clips of the cutest puppies and sassiest cats. Oh yeah, that's really brightened my day that has. How I'll revive my older patient. He just laid down. Okay, boy, well, well, anyway, uh, right. I don't know what's worse, really, the fact that she's a nurse and she's mounting patients in order to revive them, or is it the fact that she used her cat to pose as a patient? In essence, she was pretending to ride her cat. Really? <laughs> but yeah, I suppose, you know, you could deem that as quality professional nursing medical advice. If a patient is dying and you are a nurse, forget the defibrillator, forget the CPR. Just get on top and ride his car. But yeah, operation success apparently. Roger does seem very alive in that TikTok. <laughs> but that's not even half as bad as the things we're gonna look at. It gets so much worse. This, this is just the beginning. You gotta wait for the climax later on. No pun intended, of course. This is what you might experience when you date a big muscle guy. Oh, didn't realize I'd be mentioned in this TikTok. First things first, your your big muscle guy is a dog. Yeah. What a very handsome, muscly man. Second of all, we aren't idiots, ladies and gentlemen. We know exactly what she's trying to insinuate here. I guess what she's trying to say is that she's got somewhat of a relationship between her and Great Dane. At least we know his name now. It's named Dane. I wonder why she calls him Great Dane. Is it because of his breed or because of the size of his... But nevertheless, for a nurse to post something like this, well, that's very strange. That is very, very worrying indeed. But I have figured out that she does seem to have an unusual type, and her type is animals. Oh, yeah, baby. Jay, that's disgusting. Oh, let me have some of that, boy! Yeah, you are filthy. You absolute dirty dog. Whose turn is it today? Having two beautiful dogs is great because the three of us will always have fun. Oh boy, I don't think I like where this is going. Sorry, what? What was that? Are you trying to insist that you're in a love triangle with a couple of dogs? Holy moly, Christmas Christ! Hey, I had fun tonight. You wanna meet up tomorrow and have a coffee together? Sorry, I got other plans. My bitches need me. I mean, she gives all another definition to having bitches, doesn't Be it? Be careful, ladies and gentlemen, when someone says they have loads of bitches. You never know what they mean. I am so done with my bitch. Yeah, she sucks my c 
but she won't stop shitting on my floor. But the evidence we've gathered so far, ladies and gentlemen, we can say that she's not actually doing anything with her dogs. It's just what she's implying. It's pretty much exactly the same as the last nurse we covered. She didn't directly essay her patients, but she would claim and imply that she does. And I'm really starting to get confused by all these TikTok nurses, you know, because we always talk about whether it's satire or not. Are they actually a nurse? Ah, I just don't know anymore. Because I'm looking at these rooms that these nurses are in and... I mean, of every hospital I've been to, it looks exactly the same, which is very concerning. <laughs> it just paints a really bad name for nurses. Next time I go to hospital now, all I'm going to be thinking about is whether or not the nurse that's examining me has had her back blown out by a shih tzu. It's a sentence that should never exist. <laughs> It's a phrase that shouldn't ever have come into this world. God. Great Dane and his almighty shaft. <laughs> Jerry! Okay, quick disclaimer. Uh, I've only just realised that I seem to be somehow wearing my t-shirt inside out. You can see the tag there. So I am sorry, but... You're gonna have to deal with it. What my boyfriend thinks I would do when I put my hair up. Off to a great start, I think. Can't imagine what this is gonna be about. <laughs> what a comedy genius. I mean, that is just the pinnacle of comedy. Contributing a form of oral sex to your dog Barnaby. What a, an amusing show to be a part of. I mean, the dog does look like he's having some sort of seizure. And also, that camera angle just really doesn't sit right with me. Why Why would she do that to such an innocent animal? But good to know, Jasmine, that this is how you're using your medical platform. Promoting animal sex. <laughs> now, there are a couple of more TikToks to go over. I am sorry, everybody. But comment down below what you think so far. Is this person really a nurse? Is she really as effed up as she seems? What I also want to say, if you are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on those bell notifications, because we're aiming for 150k. The more you guys subscribe now, the quicker we get there. All right? Let's get it, guys. Come on. Let's get it, baby. We can do this. By September, we got two months to do it. Let's get it! <laughs> That was my battle cry. When your favorite person brings you flowers at work and you couldn't resist. Oh, couldn't resist what? Giving him a kiss or a cuddle or something or saying thank you so much for the flowers. Oh, this is so nice, guys. I, I can't wait for this wholesome video. <laughs> oh my god, no. Oh, I mean, that is just brilliant. Getting your ass torn up by a German shepherd called Mighty Mick. Well, if there is one thing clear to me right now, it's that Jerry's had enough. He's decided to leave the room. Come on, Jerry. Come inside. Oh, with pleasure. Oh, God. And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? I can make a joke like that because, firstly, Jerry isn't a real animal. He's just a magnificent statue of glory. And second of all, that was Jerry's idea, not mine. And also, to my surprise, I'm reading the comments and they're completely not what I expected. The dog going hard on her. Come on, you know what, right? I love you and my dog just absolutely annihilates me. Come on. I love you. I'm that dog. <laughs> Rodney. Of course his name's Rodney. <laughs> <laughs> Rodney, go back to the nursing care home for Christ's sake. Oh my days. Clearly Rodney is a patient of hers and he meant that literally. He is the doc. I want to be loved like that. Oh bless, that comment's really relatable. I can only wish that my dog would just munt me. Hang on, we got a comment in a different language, yeah? La fin sa don drop evine. Ha, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Why is he laughing so hard at that? I don't know. I just find that stuff funny, okay? Anyway, there's a translation. <laughs> the translation is, the ending is so inspiring. Yeah. Yeah, I can feel that as well. Can you feel it? Like in your chest. At the end, I felt somewhat fulfilled. I mean, when that dog was absolutely plowing her open, I just felt some sort of sense of serenity and completeness. The way she walks to you. And the title is, My Pet's Reaction When I Arrive at Home. Wow, yeah, I mean, it's all fun and games until the chip rips you apart. But on the positive side, it's good to see that she's quite diverse, which feels wrong to say. But what she's insinuating is that she's going down on an, on, on an ape or whatever type of species monkey that is. And is that really what you do? You come home through the door and then you crawl towards them like a cat? 
while they sit there waiting to be noshed off, really? <laughs> God, this video's been full of laughs so far, ladies and gentlemen. Hope you're all enjoying. Let's take a look at uh, the range of pets she has. Pets that I have personally owned. Aloe Vera. I'm guessing it's the dog she's holding. Who's next? There was no pet in that one. Oh, no, look, there he is. Look. Oh, brilliant. It's bloody cockatiel, man. I love those buggers. Oh, God, no. You, you don't think that she does the... But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let's check out her OnlyFans. Her OnlyFans is Jazzy Bay. It was $3 for 31 days. Wow. What an absolute bargain. That's like... It's like two pence a wank. Normally, I don't wear anything under my doctor's coat. On here, I'm not even wearing my coat. Let me show you why 100% of my patients feel better after my treatment. I have many tools I can only use myself. So just hit me up and maybe I will show you. But be prepared. I barely say no and I'm open for any special requests. You're open for any special requests? You barely say no? How about quit the platform? So get in my DMs and tell me where it hurts so I can work my magic and make you feel like you're on top of the world. Oh, you're gonna make me feel like I'm on top of the world, are you? Yeah, for about 45 seconds. After that, it's just gonna be pitiful loneliness and self-loathing. Wanna bring me some sunscreen and a drink? Guess what my favorite cocktail is? Hmm, I have absolutely no idea. But if I had to guess, I'd say it's the essence of Barnaby, a small dose of Great Dane and a little bit of orange juice to top it up. And the image she posted, I don't think I can show it, but she just sat on the chair with her boobies out. Oh, you know what? I'm absolutely loving this video so far. You know, because of the the comedy. <laughs> what do I get for treating my patients like this? And in this image, she's completely naked while a stethoscope is around her neck. What would you get for treating a patient like that? Um, probably the sack, as well as charged with public indecency, I imagine. I mean, the comments are just absolutely ridiculous. You'd get a few deep injections. She never shows her boobs. Yeah! I know, right? I'm angry about this. I think they're missing the point. They should be more worried about the fact that she's doing this in a hospital. Did, did people miss that point? She, she's in a hospital, working as a nurse, and she's naked. Although that would probably make most men happy. But I imagine if you did come in with an amputated leg, you wouldn't want your nurse to be naked, would you? You'd want to receive medical attention. Could you concentrate on driving if I was your passenger? And she's in the passenger seat with her legs up on the dashboard, showing her up. Well, I'd hope that I'd be able to concentrate driving, Jasmine. Otherwise, we'd end up in a car crash. And I can't say that I entirely trust your nursing skills to save us from death. But I really want to know what you guys think, ladies and gentlemen. Do you think this woman is an actual nurse? Because you know what, right? It's, I can't, I can't decide anymore. The last nurse, I was like, nah, there's no way she's, there's no way she's an actual nurse, a nursing assistant rather. But now it's like this nurse as well. Surely they can't be. But then the nursing offices look so real. So comment down below, let me know if you think this lady is an actual nurse or not. And you better comment down below, because you know what, right? It breaks my heart when I when I don't see people comment. I'm talking about you. You watching right now. Comment down below, or else I'll send nursing Jasmine to f*** your dog. But that said, ladies and gentlemen, check out my other videos. They're pretty much just as chaotic as this one. And if you enjoyed this one, you'll probably enjoy those. So yeah, check it out. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one.